Am I the asshole? For refusing to let my daughter go to dinner with her boyfriend's family. I have a daughter. A couple of weeks ago her boyfriend's family went on a day hike. They asked my daughter to come. All of them including my daughter love to hike. I didn't think it would be an issue and let her go. I was wrong. From what the forest service guy told me. Along with what my daughter said. There was a rock slide halfway up the trail. My daughter fell and got hurt. Her boyfriend's family decided to finish the hike to the top and come back later to help her down. Even after my daughter told them she was in horrible pain. After a couple of hours the Forest Service Ranger FSR found her. He loaded her on a four-wheeler and helped her down the hill. The FSR called me. I immediately came. We left a note on BF's car along with the FSR stayed in the area. To let them know my daughter was taken to the hospital. The whole way to the hospital she was sobbing. Not only from the pain but because they left her. It deeply hurt her. She broke her foot ankle in three places. She needed surgery. The two days she was in the hospital. They didn't check on her once. We saw their post and photos on social media from the top of the mountain. Talking about what a great time they had. Seeing how hurt she was. We spoke to our daughter about what happened and what she wanted from this relationship. She told us she didn't want to be with her BF anymore. She sent her BF a text saying she was breaking up with him. After a flood of messages. We all blocked him and his family. Six days ago. We started getting notes taped to our cars, doors, some left for her in the office at school. Yesterday XBF came to the house. I opened my main door but left my security screen door closed. Talking through it. He asked if his family could take my daughter to dinner as an apology. Since his family didn't think what they did was wrong but, he loved her and his family wanted to clear the air between them. This is probably where I am the A. I flat out told him he is not allowed to take my daughter anywhere. I stressed since he chose to leave my daughter when she was hurt. I no longer trusted him to be around her. Then shut the main door before he could say anything else. Now some of our mutual friends are saying I am an A for not allowing them to make it up to our daughter and closing the door on him. Am I allowing my mom a bare judgment of this 19 years old cloud the right thing to do here? Am I the A? Not the asshole pity he didn't love her enough not to desert a vulnerable, injured, teenager in the middle of nowhere for hours, totally unable to seek help for herself, scared and in severe pain. He got away lightly. Not the asshole. These people seem to be all about show, and as soon as daughter became inconvenient to that show they ditched her and went on with what they wanted. Just can't trust them, period. Not the asshole your friends are out of their minds. Their behavior is shocking and disgusting. Good on you for helping her get space and telling them to back off. I mean the fact that they'd not think they've done anything wrong? Not the asshole and you might want to consider getting a no contact order if boyfriend or his family continue to try to communicate with your daughter, let alone show up uninvited to your home or leave notes on your cars. ETA I'm also just putting together that he's slightly older so he doesn't even go to her school. The school should be somehow looped in that you don't want these people communicating with her or leaving notes for her there. Not the asshole. One he still doesn't think it was wrong to leave your daughter when she was hurt. Two his family doesn't think they were wrong for leaving her when she was hurt. Three neither the BF or his family came to the hospital after she needed surgery. Four no attempt has been with an apology even an insincere one. Five their idea of clearing the air is probably gaslight your daughter into thinking she was overreacting. Six if he truly loved your daughter none of the above would have happened. Again, not the asshole. Not the asshole do your friends know the entire story? If they do you need new friends. And if the ex and family continue harassing you go to the police. Your daughter doesn't want to see them and who leaves a badly injured teenager and continues hiking?
and the dinner isn't to apologize since they don't think they did anything wrong it's to clear the air which sounds like a gaslighting party. The whole family sounds abusive. Not the asshole 100. They left your daughter in pain with multiple fractures to her foot, severe enough that it needed a two-day hospital stay and surgery. Also, I'm not sure where you are based, but in my area of the world the wildlife on mountain hikes can include bears and cougars. Your daughter was to all intents and purposes defenseless. Not the asshole and honestly I would get a restraining order. They left an underage girl with a broken ankle on a trail. That's child endangerment. They could have charges pressed. She needs to be very, very far away from these horrible people. Not the asshole. Your daughter clearly stated that she did not want to be with this person anymore, and then proceeded to cut off all communication. You didn't refuse to let her go with them, you refused to break her boundary for them. Not the asshole. They deliberately left an injured person on the trail so they could finish their hike. Your daughter was left alone and injured until she was rescued. She had no way of defending herself from wildlife or humans with ill intent. Nata, these people are unhinged. I truly hope your daughter has no interest in pursuing this relationship. Does she want to go on this dinner? With people who are not genuinely sorry? What is the point? To appease their guilt? Oh hell no. Don't give them any satisfaction. Excuse me, mom, we left your daughter with a broken ankle with no help available and continued on our hike without a worry in the world. We'd like to take her to dinner to make it all good again. I think not not the asshole. Not the asshole. Your daughter made it clear that she wanted nothing to do with him, and then he started displaying worrying behavior by essentially stalking her. You are absolutely in the right to keep her away from this guy. Not the asshole. They left your daughter, injured and in pain, on the side of a trail so that they could continue their little adventure. These are not the type of people you want your child around regardless of how old everyone involved is. It speaks volumes to their character. Not the asshole. Your daughter knows how to contact her ex if she wants anything more to do with him. Unless she does that, you don't owe them anything. As for wanting to make it up to her, did they offer to pay even a part of her medical bills? Not the asshole and mutual friends are not making sense at all. You don't leave anyone hurt on a trail so you can go have more fun. They acted horribly and they still don't think they did anything wrong. There is no air to clear. Keep people who are this selfish away from your daughter and your entire family. This might actually be considered criminal neglect, by the way. You could press charges. Oh my god not the asshole what the fuck is wrong with that family? Not the asshole. This makes me mad on so many levels, and I don't even have kids. I'd be suing them for the medical costs. I wouldn't if they had shown any decency and turned back after the accident, but leaving her there? You never leave an injured person alone in the wilderness ever. I hope that forest service person had a very long chat with them. Had your daughter been forced to try to walk animal approaching or someone with bad intent she could have crippled herself for life. Or cut an artery and bled to death. Edit typo.